So in this demonstration, I'm going to use a Redwood application that we created. We can see that there's a new Visual Builder runtime available for us. This is how the application looks for right now. This is the Smart Search component. So you can, for example, pick up something from the list here and populate um, to show that information. If you go to your application settings, you don't see the upgrade button, and that's because there's hard-coded versions in here of the JET and runtime that you're using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert to default. This brings it into the default ones, and then you have the upgrade button. Press the upgrade, and you can upgrade to the latest version. So now we know 24.10, okay? Now, in addition to this, you might want to upgrade your Redwood component. So if you go over here to the component palette, you can see now there's an option in update to update your components from 24.07 to 24.10, and also the dynamic component. So let's do update of all of those. And now if you look at the page, okay, you can see the different behavior because the things that were previously only available inside here are now also available as filter chips. So I can say, for example, hey, show me everyone that is in the support department, like that. Now, one of the things we also see here is that there's a little bit of an issue with the layout of the page and the size that we allocated here. That's because we're using the welcome template for this page. Now, I um, if you look at the options for page templates, you can actually click on the page, do select page template, and there's a bunch of other options, including one that is called smart search page template. The only issue is that if you'll do it this way, and you'll switch, we actually remove everything from the page and you get an empty page. So that's probably not what you want to do. So let's do an undo here. And we're back into where we were. And if we look at the code, you'll see that right now we're using this template, the OJSP um, welcome page. Now what we want to use is another template. Um, you can, by the way, see how another template would look like if you go and you'll create a new page and you would use the simple search, okay? So we're using this template. And if we do create, we get a new page with this look. Now, <clears throat> if you look at the code, you'll see that we're using here a simple create edit. We actually wanted to do a simple search. So let's switch this one to a smart search template. Okay, that's how the page would look like. And we have the smart search tag over here. So we're gonna copy this one and we're gonna go over here to our welcome page and switch it to use this new template. So you don't just switch it, you should probably remove the whole tag, and bring in the new tag. Now, once you bring in the new tag, you would have a bunch of properties to set. So if we switch now to the design view and you're standing on your template, you can say, hey, this is a employees search. You can set it, for example, to be a mixed mode look and feel. Okay. Add other aspects like here and configure whatever you want. But at the end of the day, you get a page that looks nicer, especially fixed for search components. So you can do searches like this. And you can, again, pick specific countries. Okay, to filter only those. And of course, you can also further filter by name. So that's how you do an upgrade and how you switch a template for a, an existing page to use one of the new page templates.